right, everybody, welcome to the Western Oregon Halftime Show. I'm Clayton Jones, the Assistant AD for Communications, and we have wide receiver Marquis Sampson. Marquis, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, Marquis Sampson, wide receiver at Western Oregon, senior, uh, major public health. All right, well, we're going to ask you some, some questions about football and some questions not about football here today. So I guess when did you start playing football and what kind of drew you to the game? Uh, started playing football about third grade, and then uh, what kind of drew me to the game was just uh, – it was just all I seen, you know. My dad watching my dad grow up play football, and then uh, my grandpa always had it on TV and stuff. And what about the game of football do you enjoy the most when you're out here on Saturdays? Um, it's just kind of like a way to like um, get like closer to with my friends and my brothers and stuff, and it's just a way to like escape uh, other things. Yeah, you guys seem to have a pretty good camaraderie, especially the wide receivers when yeah. we were doing the media day stuff. You guys seem like you had a little fun with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, uh, I've been here for about five years now with, uh, and then plus COVID, so we kind of grew a lot closer over that time period. And uh, what do you kind of consider your best attribute on the field? Like, what do you bring? Speed. You know, I'm not the biggest, so I've always had to, you know, learn how to be the fastest and uh, escape kind of like all those tackles. So. And what do you kind of consider your greatest achievement thus far out here on the football field? I would say making it to college and playing college football is probably the, the greatest. Um, and then since I've been here, probably winning conference uh, back a couple years ago here. So that's probably the greatest achievement. And was it, I mean, being your size and trying to, you know, make it to that next level to play college football, was that always just a grind for you? Did you have like a chip on your shoulder about things? Oh, most definitely. It was more like a boulder kind of, you know. Um, but that, that always kind of like pushed me to go a little bit harder because I feel like I always needed to work a little bit harder. And uh, I, we're going to do some fun stuff here, okay. so we're going to ask a few fun questions. Um, if you weren't playing football, what sport would you be playing at Western? Um, or in college in general? College in general. Okay, it's a trick question, you know. Um, I would say baseball, but, you know, I can't, I'm scared to hit the ball, so I, I would just run the bases. Be a pinch runner? You yeah. <laughs> out there. <laughs> um, what's the last series you binged or movie you watched? Um... The Godfather of Harlem. I was watching that the other day uh, with my roommates and stuff. Okay. And this is a controversial topic here. Um, do you consider a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> no, that's a glizzy through and through. Uh, it's just a hot dog. I don't know. But it's got two pieces of bread and uh, yeah, meat in the middle, though, right? Yeah, but you eat it like, you know, sideways, not on top of each other. Okay, okay. I respect the opinions. I respect the opinions. Uh, What's heavy on your playlist right now, like on your music playlist? My playlist. Oh, that's Kanye. Everybody that know me know I love Kanye. You know, can't tell me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're invited to a potluck. Mm -hmm. What are we bringing to the, what are, we, what are we bringing? What kind of food are we bringing? Are you making it? Are you buying it? Oh, no, I'm going, I'm going right there down the street to Mink's Pad Thai. And I'm going to say I've made it. And I'm going to just throw it in some Tupperware, you know, bring it. <laughs> but I'm going to buy it for sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I guess now, you know, your time at Western's kind of wrapping up and everything else. What, what are kind of your plans afterwards? Um, I think me and Jasmine kind of got something sorted out. I think I'm going to come back and then get my master's and work with her in the athletic building. And then, uh, you know, just kind of stick around for a little bit, see where that goes. So we're going to see you around the offices still. We should. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Marquise. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, welcome back to the Halftime Show. I am joined by Isaiah Abraham. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's good, Isaiah Abraham, fifth year here. Uh, born and raised in Monmouth, Oregon, so go Wolves, baby. All right, we got the hometown guy right yes, here sir. with us. Yes, uh, sir. So, 
When did you start playing football and what kind of drew you to the game? Um, I think I started playing tackle football around like fifth grade. Um, but no, yeah, just being around my pops a lot. He was always uh, watching football and he actually played football here at Western Oregon in baseball. So kind of just following in his footsteps. So, yeah. And how's that been for you getting uh, to play where he played? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've seen some old pictures like to compare and stuff like that and look back on too. I know he likes coming to the games and stuff. So it's been a really cool experience for sure. Who's better? Me, of course. Oh, okay. Come on. I got it. I got it. I'm sorry, pops. I'm sorry, pops. <laughs> What about the game of football do you enjoy the most? Um, I think it's just really that brotherhood, especially here. I just feel like we have such an intertwined like, connection with each other and it's just like coming out here every day. Like, obviously there's gonna be those days where you're like tired or like don't wanna do it or whatever, but you always have those guys next to you to help push you through and I really enjoy that about it for sure. As an outside linebacker, what's kind of your best attribute that you bring to the team? Um, I think one thing I've brought, especially like these past year, is um, my speed, I feel like. Um, all of our backers, I feel, are pretty physical as well and pretty fast, and I feel like I also bring a lot of speed to the table as well. Okay. So far, since you've been here, what do you kind of, I mean, overall even, uh, what's your greatest achievement uh, as a football player? Um, yeah, um, honestly, I would just say, like, still being here and still playing. I had a, a pretty nasty injury in high school that kept me out my junior year. And then my third year here, um, same thing, really bad injury, and kept me out for the whole season. Um, so just kind of like pushing through all that adversity and still like proving that I can still be here and still play. And what does it mean to you to be from Monmouth and getting to play at Western? No, yeah, for sure. Um, I just feel like in this community, it's kind of just like Western, it's kind of just like, mm, like it's like that D2 school. Um, but I feel like coming here, like I really like realized like how big it is, like how big of an achievement it is. Um, and I'm proud to do it. And hopefully I can encourage like the kids in my community and everybody else that it's a big set plan here. It's really cool. So. Okay, well now we're going to get away from football and ask some questions away from the game here. So if you weren't playing football at Western, what sport would you be playing? I might have to say hoops. I don't got the best three-point shot, but I'll definitely lock some dudes up. So Play a little D. Oh well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll, right. still, I'll still be on the defensive side. <laughs> What's, what's the best movie or series you've been recently? Um, honestly, don't watch a whole lot of shows, but I did recently with my teammates go and watch that new Beast movie um, in the theaters, and it's pretty good, it's pretty cool. Okay, big question here we have on the show. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't know. No, it can't be. No? No. Meat be. between two pieces nah, of bread? So that one connected piece, I can't do the sandwich. I can't, <laughs> okay. I can't call it that. That's fair enough, I that's fair enough. It. We respect the opinions around here of everybody. So uh, right now on your music playlist, What's, he what's playing heavy right now for you? Man, I'm gonna have to say that like, Gunna Wanna. That's like, what it's been, so it's gonna stay. Gunna Wanna for sure. Okay, okay. And if, you're, if we're having a potluck, what, do you, what are you bringing? What's Man, Isaiah I'm, bringing? I'm gonna have to bring my famous fried chicken sandwiches. They, they know, the dudes know about them. I'm just for, that's for sure what I'm bringing. Okay, and then now we're kind of getting near the end of your career and everything else. What are you kind of looking to do after football and after your time at Western? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I love to play football as long as I can, um, but I know that it's not gonna last forever. Um, so I have my own clothing brand, went through seven brand, and I hope to just make that grow more and more and hopefully take that on as my full-time career once I'm done here. Well, that's amazing. Well, hey, Isaiah, I appreciate you sure. Thank joining you. us here, and uh, we're going to get back to the game and go Wolves. Go Wolves, baby.